what is going on everybody welcome to the post combine mock draft um, if you're new to the channel like and subscribe go check out my Instagram hh period scouts so hh dot scouts um, been doing some things on there but let's go ahead and hop in to this mock draft don't forget to like and subscribe obviously but Bears at number one, this is inevitable that they would trade this pick. Um, and who they trade it to is kind of up in the air. From my sense, I, I would think that maybe the Colts try and jump the Texans. Maybe the Texans try and move up. But it seems more likely that the Colts try and trade up. So what we're going to be doing is the Colts are going to give up the number four pick, a first round next year a second round and then maybe they get like a fourth so first and a fourth for a first first second and maybe a third next year that might not even be enough but we're gonna go with that we're gonna force the trade regardless the trade stuff might not look super accurate but we're only doing the first round um, point being I think the Colts trade up and I do think they go Bryce Young. Um, obviously did not test in the combine, but he is the presumptive number one overall pick in the draft. And I'm going to keep it like that, although he's not my favorite. Um, I, I think that's probably what's going to happen. And then we're here at number two. Um, I think if you're the Houston Texans, I think you stick and pick. Um, you've got your pick of the litter. Do you want to go get uh, Will Anderson? But... I'm going to be honest, I think C.J. Stroud is going to be a Houston Texan. And so C.J. Stroud goes here at number two. And then you're here at number three. Cardinals are on the clock. Um, they do have their choice of the defensive player they want. And if you're looking at teams that need quarterback, the Panthers are here. Now, for the Panthers to be able to get their pick of the litter, I think they would have to trade with the Bears or the Cardinals, but there's no need to come up. The Cardinals aren't going to take a QB. They're going to take the best edge rusher in the class, potentially, in Will Anderson Jr. And then here at number four, I think if you're the Bears, let's just go get more draft picks. It makes no sense not to go get more draft picks. So we're going to be trading with the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers are going to give us their first first next year and we'll do that for now but just know that it'd be more so Carolina is going to move up and I'm actually going to do something uncharacteristic I think with the way Anthony Richardson tested and I've been saying it for a while I think Anthony Richardson has the tools to be successful we're going to go Anthony Richardson at number four now if you're the Bears you get a ton of draft picks but this does put you out of the running to get, well, Will Anderson's gone. So maybe this isn't terrible. If you're Seattle and you miss out on Anthony Richardson, I think you go defense. Um, and we're going to go with potentially also the 1B edge rusher. Um, personally, I still have Will Anderson as my number one guy. But what do I know? So we're going to go with Tyree Wilson at the number five pick. Number six, um, the lines are on the clock. I personally would love to give them a defensive tackle in Jalen Carter, but with all the off the field stuff going, I don't think he goes this high. I'm going to go with the best corner in the draft, Devon Witherspoon um, out of Illinois. Uh, Lions have been struggling with cornerbacks. They have Jeff Okuda, Monty Awarie. I think Awarie is a free agent. I'm honestly not sure. Um, Okuda really hasn't worked out for you. So we're going to go with Devon Witherspoon to sure up that DB room. Number seven, this is a pretty easy pick for me. I think Will Levis has what Josh McDaniels is looking for. Um, he is a good QB. He's not necessarily my favorite, but nonetheless, Will Levis will be going to the Raiders. Here at pick eight, um, I can see this going a 
a multitude of different ways. But personally, I think, you know, maybe you could go Jalen Carter here. I don't think that's necessarily the worst pick, which I, I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to go Christian Gonzalez, one of the best corners in the draft. He tested so well in the combine. Personally, one of my favorite corners in the draft, if not my favorite. And so Christian Gonzalez is with the Atlanta Falcons and A.J. Terrell. Here at number nine, the Jalen Carter fall is over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take him. I, I think he could go here, and I, I want to put him here. So Jalen Carter to the Bears, where he would have been picked somewhere in here if they would have traded down, but they get their guy in Jalen Carter. And with the number 10 pick, um, you know, you could go a bunch of different ways, honestly. Um, um, for this team, I, I personally think that you're going to need corner. You need safety. Um, there's really a lot you need. But with the O-line aging, I'm going to make a different pick here. I'm going to go Peter Skaronsky because I think he could play guard for them for a little bit. Um, and then move out the tackle when Lane Johnson retires. This might not be a popular pick. Um, you know, you maybe could go Joey Porter here or Deontay Banks, who tested extremely well. But I think Peter Skronsky here is a good move. And then if you are the Titans, you got to go get a tackle. Um, the next best tackle off the board is either Paris Johnson or Broderick Jones. I'm going to go with Broderick Jones. He tested really well, looked really good in the drills. And I know the combine doesn't mean everything, but um, I do think he looked really good, and he is ready to go. Here at 12, um, obviously, got your franchise quarterback in C.J. Stroud. I, me personally, I would go get his teammate in Paris Johnson, but what do I think they do? That's the real question. Um, I think you go Lucas Van Ness, great edge rusher out of Iowa. Him even being here is crazy. So, Lucas Van Ness to the Texans. Pick 13, um, Aaron Rodgers might be going to the Jets. So, I'm going to go a different route there. Um, I'm actually going to go offensive line, and I am going to go Paris Johnson Jr. out of Ohio State. I think he's probably my favorite tackle. Um, the Jets need a tackle, and, you know, they may not even have this pick. So, we'll see. Um... You know, looking at the Patriots here, I think they could go multiple ways. Me personally, I think it would make sense for them to go Brian Branch. But Joey Porter Jr., he's a long, fast corner. Um, I personally like him. Would love if my Patriots could get him. And I'm going to give them to him. They are going to let Jonathan Jones walk in free agency. So let's go get a replacement in Joey Porter Jr. Um, here at 15, obviously... You're losing your tight end probably in Robert Tunyon. I think Dalton Kincaid would be the move here. And, yep, yeah, that's uh, that's, a, that's the way I'm going to go. I'm going to go Dalton Kincaid. Uh, number 16. This is one where I feel they could go a couple different ways. Um, you know, probably going to keep their quarterback in uh, Sam Howell. I think you go get Miles Murphy. Um, well, no, that's not true. Why am I saying Miles Murphy here? Let me think about this because there's a multitude of different ways you could go. I think it wouldn't hurt if you went and got a tight end. Um, can never have too much edge rush. What feels like a commander's pick to me? I really think their offense needs help, personally. But what do I think they do? I think they go Deontay Banks out of Maryland. Um, just released Kendall Fuller. So they need DB help, and Deontay Banks is that guy. Um, Steelers here at number 17. Obviously, they need a tackle. They did need corner. Corner's kind of off the board. Anton Harrison is here. Um, what do I like for them? I like Emmanuel Forbes out of Mississippi State. Um, obviously, you could go get DeWan Jones. I think he's really good. I'm going to give them a tackle just for the sake of Kenny Pickett, but I think they could go corner. Here at 18, um, you go Devon Witherspoon. Um, I really think defense you could continue to build up. 
Um, with Miles Murphy being here, you take him at 18. Great player. Could be probably going to be picked way higher than that. But let's go ahead and get him there. And then Brian Branch at 19 seems like the pick. Um, you're losing DBs in free agency. Um, Brian Branch going to fill a need instantly. Um, probably rocking with Kyle Trask. Maybe go tight end, but Brian Branch seems like a safe pick. Um, here at 20, offensive line is a big need for you. I think D-line, you could also go with Brian Breesey, um, or you could go with Cansey. Um, I personally think you got to invest in that offensive line, and we are going to go with Osiris Torrance, potentially the best guard in the class. Um, maybe you could go Steve Avila, Avila but I'm going to go with the Osiris Torrance here at number 20. 21, can you do something for me? Uh, Chargers, they are on the clock. I think they need a receiver. Um, they need a fast receiver. I could see Zay Flowers going here. Jordan Addison, potentially. I'm going to go with Jordan Addison. Um, I think I like him personally. I think Zay Flowers is a little, little rich at the 21 spot, personally. So that's why I like that pick. Um, here at 22, there's a few different ways I could see this team going. Um, I think cornerback makes the most sense. And I'm going to go with Cam Smith out of South Carolina. Really good corner. I just think Emmanuel Forbes is a little small. Um, and I think Cam Smith is a raven. He just seems like that guy. Um, and then here at 23, Brian Breesey being here, I really like him here. But for some reason, Kansi seems like a Viking. Um, obviously tested really well at the Combine. Um, really fast defensive tackle. Uh, I just like him as a Viking. Here at 24, shout out to Bengal. He did have Michael Mayer going here. I, t I could totally see that. I, I really could. Um... For the sake of that, though, I'm going to change it up, and I'm actually going to go with Steve Avila to the Jaguars here at 24. Um, reason being is you've got your franchise quarterback. You've got some good offensive weapons. You just got Calvin Ridley back. Have Christian Kirk. Um, you've also got Evan Ingram, Travis Etienne. I just think Steve Avila getting another interior help um, just makes the most sense here. 25 is going to be an interesting one. Um, Giants don't necessarily have a quarterback or running back at the moment. Um, I will check my phone live to make sure that Ian Rappaport has not tweeted anything about the Giants getting any deals done. And Lamar Jackson has been non-exclusive tagged. Wow. Huh. Um, okay, but nothing on the, the giant side. So um, I think you need a field stretcher wide receiver. I'm going to go with Zay Flowers here. He seems like that guy. Over JSN, um, obviously, I, I think JSN's better. Quentin Johnson is like... He's not what you're looking for as a giant. I think Zay Flowers stretches the field, which is what you need. Jackson Smith and the Jigba is going to be my pick at 26. Um, you need another receiver to pair with C.D. Lamb, and I think Jackson Smith and the Jigba would be the best comp to him. Um, here at 27, you obviously need offensive line help, but, I mean, if you look down the board... There's not really a whole lot that I like here. You are losing Tremaine Edmonds. So I'm going to go with Drew Sanders out of Arkansas. No bias. But um, I think this is a good pick for the Bills. They replace their really good linebacker who's hitting free agency. And here at 28, Bengals are on the board. I personally think you go Brian Breesey here. Um, obviously, you could cheer up the O-line, but Brian Breesey being here at the end of the first, let's go get him. Number 29, Saints have Derek Carr. Um, you've got Michael Thomas. You've got Chris Olave. Um, 
you really wish you could have got Brian Breesey here, but I'm going to go with Mozzie Smith out of Michigan. I think he is really good. Could be even above Brian Breesey. And then here at 30, um, Eagles are back on the clock, and I think you take a really, really good player here and go Nolan Smith. Um, I, th I think he's one of the best players available. He should, probably should have got picked up in there, but Nolan Smith here at 30. 31, um, Chiefs are on the clock. Uh, for me personally, like looking down the board, says you need wide receiver and D-line. Um, to me, I, d I don't see how the Chiefs don't trade down here, but for the sake of making them a pick, uh, we'll go... We'll go with Anton Harrison because Orlando Brown Jr. isn't re-signed. Um, so I didn't do a whole lot of trading like I expected, but I did want to get some done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to start doing some seven-round mocks where I'll try and make some trades. Um, I think the first team I'll start with is my favorite team, the Patriots, and then from there we'll um, go with the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you the next one.